Cripple Creek, one of my favourite tunes. There are lots of different ways to play it, and in this series of three videos, I'm going to show you how to play Cripple Creek if you've never played the banjo before. The first thing you need to know is that there are only three short pieces of music involved and you just have to put those three pieces of music together in the right order and you can play the whole tune. The first piece of music is called the high part and it goes like this. It's not too hard is it? And then we play a melody on the low strings with the thumb. Then the high part again. And then the melody on the low strings with the thumb again. Now we change the chorus part and we play something called the alternating thumb roll. And then we play the same short melody on the chorus part that we played on the verse. Then the alternating thumb roll again. And we finish off by playing the same low melody again. So you can see there are only three short pieces of music involved and that's all there is to it. So in this video I'm going to concentrate on playing the low melody with the thumb. Now normally when we play the banjo we want to play all of the strings with the thumb but to keep things simple for now we're only going to play three strings with the thumb and they're going to be these three strings here. So try playing a few notes with the thumb and see if you can keep a steady rhythm while you play different strings. And once you're comfortable doing that, it's time to get the left hand involved. So we're going to play with the left hand just here. If you get the left hand finger just behind the fret, you don't need to press down very hard to get a good sound. If the finger is too far away from the fret, you won't be able to get a good sound. So take a bit of time to get the left hand in just the right place. And once you're happy with that, what we're going to do is play a few notes and then release the left hand while we carry on playing with the right hand, like this. So try that a few times. Get your left hand in position, make sure you've got a good clean sound and then play a few notes and release the left hand whenever you like and see what it sounds like. And you can do it a bit slower if you like. Once you've got used to the feel of doing that, we're going to try doing it the other way round. We're going to start off by playing the, the open string and then we're going to press down with the left hand while we keep playing with the right hand. And it's going to be a lot easier to do that if we have the left hand close to where it needs to be when we start.
The timing is important with the left hand. You have to press down with the left hand just a split second before you play the note with the right hand. So try that a few times and if you keep practicing you'll get the hang of it soon enough. A good way to practice is by just swapping back and forth between those two left hand positions and keep playing with the right hand. So I'm going to show you that now and I'm going to start off by playing four notes in each position to start with and then I'm going to start mixing it up a bit. And you don't have to do it at the same speed I'm doing it, do it at whatever speed you find most comfortable. And try doing the same thing on the bottom string. And now let's try mixing it all up together. Just make up a melody using those four notes and play whatever you like and explore it a little bit. Now comes the exciting part. We're going to double up the speed by playing a note with one of the fingers in between each note that we play with the thumb. So first, check your right hand position. These two fingers that we're not playing with are resting on the skin and we need to make sure they're clear of the strings so that all the strings are free to sound. And we're going to play the first string with the middle finger. And we're going to play the second string with the index finger. We're going to play exactly the same way with the thumb and add extra notes in with the fingers so we double up the speed like this. You need to make sure that this part of your left hand is not touching the strings along the side here so that all the strings are free to sound. And to start off with, you might find it easier to just use the middle finger, like this. And then try it with the index finger. And don't forget to play the fifth string every now and again with the thumb as well. So far, I've showed you how you can play a low melody with the thumb and also how you can double up the speed by adding in the fingers. And you can use that technique to play any melody you like. But now it's time to play Cripple Creek. 
So we're going to start off by putting our left hand here. And we need to make sure the side of the finger is not touching the second string so all of the strings are free to sound. So just check that you're getting a clear sound with the thumb and the two fingers like this. And then what we're going to do is play with the thumb, then the index finger, and then the thumb is going to play the fifth string, then the middle finger plays, and then we're going to go into the low melody. So here it all is slowly. Once more. And now a bit more slowly. At the end of the phrase, I'm playing a pinch, which means playing with the middle finger and the thumb at the same time, like this. So once more. Now that phrase occurs at the end of every line in Cripple Creek. We play it in the verse and in the chorus. So once you can learn to play that small piece of music, you've learned 50% of Cripple Creek. And I'm going to show you the rest of Cripple Creek in another video.